the story of a fairy tale land where a flash of blinding magic turns a frog into a prince. Here, every hero has a princess to kiss, and a happy ever after is the way it always ends. But something's wrong in fairy tale land. It's a crime. Cinderella straight from the ball All the case where Sleeping Beauty Isn't beautiful at all The fairy tale police department It's all nail biting crime fighting action The fairy tale police department Once upon a time in fairy tale land Look! The big bad wolf on his old granny diet again. Another porridge heist at the Three Bears house? No, not on this page. Go back a page. The personal columns? <laughs> the Fairy Tale Times has printed my ad. Small green amphibian prints. Interests include forensic criminology and eating bugs. Seeks princess of any description for kissing spell breaking. See, even if I get one princess willing to kiss me, it's bada boom, bada bing, goodbye, front face, and hello, your majesty. <sighs> Sorry, Claude, but I don't think you're even going to get one reply to this ad. Uh, too desperate? Too anonymous. You left off your name and address. Oh, oh, oh. I don't suppose you um, Kiss a guy who advertises in the personal columns. No way. Detectives! Huh? My office now! Whoa. I said detectives! Oh. Hey, what's so important? You wouldn't do this if I was a prince. Allow me to introduce the Royal Majesties. <laughs> Queen Hortense and Prince Cuthbert. Oh, Mother, can't we just drop the fanfare? Oh, of course not. It's traditional. This is a case of utmost secrecy. Just as well we're keeping things low-key. There has been a theft at the palace. The crown jewels? The throne? Worse. The royal pea. <laughs> so, sorry, I, I, I thought you said royal pea. I did say royal pea. Well, I can see how losing that would be a problem. It is. Without that pea, my kingdom is finished. Mm. For generations, the bride of each royal prince has been chosen from a storm-soaked damsel who has sought shelter in the palace for the night. But princes being what princes are... <laughs> they can't possibly be allowed to choose their own mate. <laughs> What's their mother's job? First, the queen needs to find out if the damsel is really a princess or not. And there is only one test for that. The pee test. The damsel is offered a bed with 15 mattresses. Oh. But beneath the bottom mattress, the queen secretly hides the royal pee. A commoner, of course, wouldn't notice a thing. But a princess would have a most uncomfortable night because only a true princess would be sensitive enough to feel a tiny pea beneath all those mattresses. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, my dear! And so you can see, this is very serious. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> a 
Now, you've got to admit using a P to choose a bride is unusual. It's how A was chosen. Ooh. The P test is an important royal tradition. And without tradition, the royal family would be as ordinary and common as, well, you. <gasps> Now, just a minute. Don't worry. My department will investigate this serious theft. Good. The rainy season is due any day now, and the palace will soon be awash with storm-drenched damsels. Without that pee, Royal Hanky, without that pee, Prince Cuthbert has no hope of finding a bride. It will be Found. See that it is. Come. Hmm. Using a pea to find a princess. Hmm. A pea is a ridiculous way of choosing a bride. People should be able to marry who they want based the on compatible star signs. Love, not on the say so of some vegetable. Yeah, especially a. Hey! <laughs> oh, zucchinis, on the other hand, are... Oh, now what? <laughs> Where did this crowd come from? Oh, it's market day. We'll be here for hours. Oh, yeah? Get out. Now give the car a kick. And pick it up. See? This is one of the advantages of these pumpkin cars. No more traffic jams. I gotta hand it to you, Chris. So, this is the Royal Castle. What do you reckon, Johnny? 500 rooms, no toilet, and hot and cold running ghosts. <gasps> Did you say, um, g ghosts? <gasps> We've been expecting you. I am Lord Olaf. Prime Minister, Chancellor of the Exchequer, First Lord of the Admiralty, and Custodian of the Royal P. Let me show you the scene of the crime. The Royal Vegetable Crisper. Normally, the Royal P is kept there under lock and key. Hmm. No fingerprints. No sign of forced entry. And the Royal Lettuce hasn't been touched. Yeah, but then it is awfully limp. Who has the key? Only myself and the immediate members of the royal family. Aha! Uh -huh, what? That's it! What's it? An inside job! P locked in crisper, no sign of breaking. You have the key, P gone, it's obvious. What is? Ghosts! What? what? Only ghosts could have taken the P. If they can go through walls, they can go through a vegetable crisper. <clears throat> uh, can you just give us a minute? Gladly. Ghosts? Yeah, well, why not? An old pile like this must be full of them, right? Wrong. But I think you're right that this is an inside job. Uh, did I say that? Yes, and I know how we can prove it. Good news, Lord Olaf. The royal pea has been found. And put back in the old vegetable crisper. Oh, happy day. So, if you'll just lock it, we'll be on our way. And let everybody know the Royal P is back where it belongs. It's not that, right? No. Now let's hide. If the thief believes the Royal P has been found, he or she will try to steal it again. What's with the garlic? Uh, just in case it is ghosts. Johnny, garlic's for vampires. What? Well, um, what keeps ghosts away? I've got eggplant, uh, let me see, a spinach, a broccoli, yeah, no, shh! <laughs> there are no ghosts. Gotcha! Aha! Lord Olaf, I'm arresting you for peanapping. What? Surely you jest. Oh, yeah? Well, what's this, then? It's what? Pokey, pokey ice cream? What? I wasn't stealing the pea, just helping myself to a little, uh, late-night snack. An organic, low-fat, all-natural, preservative-free gourmet snack? Mm. Yum! Nothing but the best for the royal family. Hmm. 
So why were you sneaking in here under cover of darkness? Alas, you have found out my grubby little secret. We mere servants are not allowed to partake in the royal hokey pokey. But you won't, Dob, will you? No, just clear off. I don't know. A guy who pinch ice cream is capable of anything. So, we've got a crime, but no clues, no suspects, no motive. And not much time. Let's face it, we'll never solve this case unless we get a lucky break hand soon. <laughs> Help! Help! It's Prince Cuthbert. Oh, ghosts? Come on! What should I go with? The, the garlic or the broccoli? Garlic, broccoli, garlic, the papayas! <laughs> Here. Thanks. Be gone, foul creatures of the night! <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, chasing off whatever fiendish ghost attacked you with those mattresses. No one attacked me. I was just trying to carry the mattresses up to the spare bedroom, but I fell. <laughs> That's all. Why were you getting the mattresses ready if you don't have the royal pee? My mother Ooh. asked me to. Uh, doesn't that strike you as a bit odd? Everything around here strikes me as odd, but that's the way things are. It's tradition. Hey, what is this place? The palace storeroom. Hmm, what do you keep down here? Stores? Uh, but we don't touch. That's another tradition. Excuse oh, I, I, yeah. So, how are you going with the pea hunting? You have nothing! Look, the rainy season is almost here, and the royal pea is still missing. Don't you have any leads? Uh, what exactly is your definition of an... No, we have none. Oh, then I'll bid you good day. Your Majesty. Yes? <laughs> there is one possibility. Whoever stole the pea is probably trying to sell it. Huh. Where on earth would one try to sell a stolen pea? The fairy tale markets. Of course. This is where I'd come if I wanted to sell a VIP pee. Poison apples? Try me lovely poison apples. Crisp. <laughs> delicious. And... Eh, eh, hmm. Magic beans. Get your magic beans here. Three for a cow. Watch. Wow! Yeah, but they can really wreck your lawn. And where's the best place to take a pee? Peter Piper's peas. Wait a minute. I thought Peter Piper picked pickled pikelets. I mean, peppered pickles. But Piper. <coughs> exactly. That slogan nearly put him out of business. Peas are easier. Come on. <laughs> a thousand pounds. Lord Olaf, what are you doing here? <laughs> hey! Quick, Johnny, after him. He's up to something. Who? Lord Olaf? <laughs> Creepy, shifty-eyed, dodgy-looking Lord Olaf. <laughs> oh, good idea. Missing too. I hope he's all right. Oh, oh dear. I warned you about those beanstalks. Now let's see if Peter Piper's still here. How many times do I have to tell you I haven't got any peas left? Well, what sort of shop is this in? Call yourself a pea merchant? Disgraceful! You're an insult to vegetables. <laughs> Peter Piper. <laughs> FTPD, having a vegetable problem? Problem? 
I don't have any peas. Someone just bought my entire stock. What? Who? I didn't see his face. He was wearing one of those hooded cloak things. Oh, Lord Olaf. Which way did he go? That way. He took off in a wagon. We'd better get after him. The storm is going to hit any minute. I wish you wouldn't do that. Claude's gone missing, and I'm afraid something terrible has happened to him. And his little froggy piggy bank is gone. Oh, was it his little piggy froggy bank? Johnny, you follow our hooded pea thief. Wanda and I will look for Claude. We'll take the police, Pumpkin. Come on, Wanda. Hey, you... What about my wheels? I'm not following all life on foot. Ooh. Oh. Have you ever driven celery? You must be joking. Wonder Winkle. Oh, cool. Follow the wagon and wait for us, okay? Yeah, but don't worry about me. Bye. Uh, 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 this way, right? Just follow the wagon ruts and good luck. I hate you, Johnny Legend. Hmm, silly place to leave a wall. <laughs> I came in as usual to give Claude his blowfly for Kasha, but he wasn't here. Hmm, nothing unusual apart from lots of bits of paper. More personal ads, I expect. No, they're receipts. For peas. And here's a delivery address. Let's go. The wagon ruts veer off here and seem to go there. Aha! Uh -huh. What am I doing? I'm alone, unarmed, without reinforcements, and almost certainly facing a twisted evil genius! On the other hand, the guy stole a pea. <gasps> Olaf! <laughs> Freeze, Olaf! <laughs> Claude? Oh, hi, Johnny. I thought... Uh, what are you doing here? You know, the usual, trying to find a princess. A princess? When I heard about the royal pea, I decided to buy and freeze every pea I could in order to put them under mattresses all over Fairytale Land. Why? So I could find at least one princess who will kiss me and break the spell. So you're not the pea thief. <laughs> Johnny's in trouble. Come on. Just Claude. I know. Another dead end. Breaking a dead end? Wow! <laughs> Wanda, turn the peas into water. Frogs can swim in water. Wonder Winkle. Did it work? Mm. Ah, close. It's pea soup. Then, frankly, you could go a little easier on the salt. <laughs> My peas! What have you done to my peas? So, you're not Olaf. Oh, I can see why they made you a detective. Then where's Olaf, and what's he up to? He must be back at the palace. And we've got to solve this thing before that storm breaks. Oh, too much salt indeed. Hey! Too much frog, more likely. Put a suck in it, you boy. How dare you! You know the traditions. Down on your knees, or I'll set the royal ferret upon you. Mother! Do you want your pee back or not? Uh, uh, yes. Then where's Lord Olaf? In his tower room. Right. Oh, well, well, well. If it isn't Tweedledum, then Tweedledum. Oh, what's going on? Let's see. One tub of ice cream, one ice cream scoop. I'd say it's snack time. No, it's not. It's an ice cream substitution racket. 
What? Olaf has been stealing the royal ice cream not for snacks, but to sell at the market. He then substitutes the Queen's gourmet hokey pokey with cheap stuff. Yuck! Preservatives! You interfering flatfeet! You can't prove a thing, especially if I get rid of the evidence. What evidence? Excuse me? <laughs> that evidence! Oh, I know all about the ice cream. What I want to know is where's the royal pea? Uh, I... we don't know. Oh no! The storm has started! Soon the castle will be overrun with soggy damsels! And there's no royal pea! Oh dear! Oh dear! Look, if it's any consolation, no one could have cracked this case. I mean, who'd steal a royal pea? The only thing it's good for is choosing brides. And who'd marry someone because of a pea? That's it! Johnny, you've solved the case! Uh, I have? Come on! Is there a quick way down? Yes, the slide. What slide? This one! <gasps> <laughs> I love doing that. My wife, not let some vegetable do it. Well, you can't. We have a fairy tale to uphold. Come on, you're under arrest. Johnny, he's a grown man. Who he marries what? should be his decision and his bride's. But without the pea, the fairy tale can't come true. Excuse me, it's buffeting down outside, and I was wondering. <laughs> Come inside. We have towels. Soft, warm, fluffy towels. Oh, I love towels. She's the one for me. See, true love will happen with or without a pee. Oh, but Mother will want to give it the pee test. Then let her. Tell your mother you found it. But what if the damsel doesn't notice the pee under all those mattresses? Put this in bed with her. <laughs> Frozen bees. I got them from Claude. The damsel won't sleep a wink with that next to her feet. Who's to say the fairy tale can't have a little help? Look, all we're saying is give peas a chance. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I love Grant. Another wacky case solved. Will I ever get used to this weird place? Probably not. <sighs> Ow! Peas? Who would want to see if I was a princess? Claude. Claude! Claude!